Hello everyone, welcome back to more Crosswords. We're going to take a crack at the Thursday today and uh, see if I can keep up my streak. I think it's kind of silly in some sense that like, the, I don't know. You shouldn't need extrinsic motivation to do crosswords, right? You're doing them because they're fun and challenging, etc. Uh, but actually it's kind of nice to have something that like tracks the streak to like, I don't know. It's a little bit encouraging. Anyway, so in the print version of this puzzle, each of the five squares in 20 across and the seven squares in 22 across contains a slash mark. Okay, yeah, so sometimes their um, digital version doesn't support like some weird trick they do uh, with ink. And so they'll like circle something and then say, well, in the print puzzle, there's a star. But it's like their software doesn't support stars. Here contains a slash mark, 20 across and 22 across. So these, huh? Okay. I don't quite understand what this clue is about yet. Is contains a slash mark. So presumably that means it's like split in two somehow. I don't know. Hopefully some of the, 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 the clues we discover will make a little more sense out of that. Something cut by a lapidary. What the heck is a lapidary? I don't even really recognize roots for that. A dromedary is a kind of camel, but I don't think a lapidary is. Line up at a truck stop. Line up at a truck stop. I mean, you, you stop for like a way station or like, that's one kind of truck stop. And the other kind is one that's like, a, you know, a rest area, like a, a diner and a bathroom or something like that. Uh, maybe a place to sleep overnight. I don't know. So I'm not sure what this lineup you would have there. Stunned in a way. Could be a gape, but I don't think so. Could be wowed. There was much of it in Shakespeare. Uh, probably much ado about nothing, maybe? I don't know, that's... I don't think that quite fits, but maybe. Thursdays, you have to be a little bit creative. Head of Harpo Productions. Um, well, that was like the Marx Brothers, right? Or I don't know. I get confused about the communist Marx and the like comedian or whatever he was, Marx. Um... Yeah, so I don't know. I have this strange feeling that it's Garbo somehow. But I don't, I don't think that's right. <laughs> um, conscious. We'll try awake. Oh, it could be aware, actually. I'm conscious of the consequences. Squeeze out. Nope, because this is eek out. German the. Hmm? I thought the word in German for the was, no, 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 right. Ein is a, uh. the is, um, I had it a second ago, der. Okay, so it could be wowed, not a surprise. Cry of disgust, ew. Could be, uh, could be uck, but I don't think so. Blunders. Errors is too long and errors is too short. Also, neither of them fit, so that's something. First woman to receive her own New York City ticker tape parade. <sighs> Native Arizonan. Oh, gosh. I don't know. You have to know the Native American tribes to do these stupid crosswords. Um, 
A relative of a raccoon is a stoat or a skunk. A relative of a raccoon? We'll say skunk for now. Nope, neither. Because an NYSE de debut is an IPO. You have your initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange. Understand could be get, but that's too short. No, I don't think so. Well, it's not Garbo, so, so there's that. Um, many eyes are upon it informally. A tater, a potato has many eyes. Okay, don't know these two. Appear that way would be seem, seem to, seem so? I think seem to. Like if something seems to be okay, then it appears okay, right? So I think the tenses work. Direction in España. Well, there are two, right? The, oh, no, no. Um, so we got sur, that's south. We got norte, that's north. We got oeste, that's west. The only one that's short enough is east, which I think is spelled like this. Right, oeste is o-e to make the wo sound. Um, old film dog. Oh no. Um, Rintin. No, Tintin? I mean, this is part of the theme clue, so there could be multiple letters here or something word like that. But I can't see how to make Tintin even with putting anything weird here. Uh, it's, it, his name is Rintintin, right? That was like the famous movie dog. Uh, so it must be some other dog. All right. Bag in commercial ease. Commercial ease? Okay, I mean, that's like stuff they say in commercials or perhaps things that commerce people say. But bag? I, I don't get it. A port in southern Italy. Um, I mean, is... Rome's not a port city, is it? I don't think so. I don't know a lot of Italian cities. Secret knowledge. Well, secret fits, but it's in the clue, so. Counted towards the, the totality of. Um... What's that word comprised? That does fit, but I don't think it's right. I'll pencil it in because it's the right length and means close to the right thing. And maybe it'll help uh, if it happens to be right. Turns off, flips, no. Exits, no. Things exchanged between brides and grooms are vows. All right, this comprised is looking pretty bad already. A small songbird, well, avian, but that's way too general. We want a specific songbird, probably. Well, a specific species of songbird, not looking for like Tweety Bird here. Where to find an American in Moscow? Question mark. Um, this is somehow like making me think of a wordplay kind of clue, like, like, is there some way you could look at the word Moscow and do something weird to it to come up with the word American? I don't think so. I was thinking like maybe there's a five letter American's name hidden in in Moscow, but you could only remove one letter for that. 
and I, none of them give you that effect, so... 1960s TV character who often said, surprise, surprise, surprise. I have no idea. Wasn't watching any TV in the 60s, I can tell you that. Oh, okay, it's these two. Wait. Oh, here's a hit for that thing. 69 or 77? What? So there's some kind of like... I, I don't understand this all yet, for sure. About half of a regular soccer field, an acre probably. William and Mary, I don't know their names. <laughs> uh, that seems a little bit too general. Flag. A flag is a symbol for a place. It's a also a verb meaning to like bring to one's notice to mark for later attention coffers so the coffer is like where you put money right nations and companies have coffers cities and i those are based on like real like a coffer was like a kind of cup or a mug that like a beggar would. Uh, actually, is that true? I might be wrong about that. Let me look up the etymology of that one. A strong box or small chest for holding valuables. From Old French coffre, meaning chest. And that came from Latin, which came from the Greek Kofinos, meaning basket. All right, so my, I don't know why, for some reason I thought that this, that like a coffer was like a mug that a, that a beggar would shake asking for change. I think that I was like, the first time I read that word, I like, I was young enough that I was like, it looks kind of like coffee and they're talking about money. It must be like a coffee mug you put money in. <laughs> uh, naughty Junos, unrelenting, oh, haughty Junos. Unrelenting. Okay, so this is talking about Juno, a Roman god, I guess. Which one is friggin' Juno? Is it Hera? I think so. I think Juno is Hera. And so her gaze, perhaps? First automaker to offer seatbelt as an option. I would have thought Volvo. I know they have some like famous seatbelt history, right? They um, invented the three-point seatbelt and gave the patent away for free so that more people could be safe. Um, but I don't know who the first one to offer them was. I'll go ahead and fill in gaze because you could gaze haughtily at things and that sounds like something Hera would do. An old TV knob abbreviation. Probably vol, yeah, you would, you'd have vol. Oh my gosh, what is this? All right, not vol. I refuse to put a V at the end of a word for a bird. Um, so C-H-A or something, or S-T-A, first channel or station, but I don't think so. Oh, was there, there were like knobs for adjusting the picture somehow, right? No, on old TVs. Like, what would that be called? Not scan, I don't know. On a top. It can't be upon because on is in the clue. Ford contemporary, I don't know. Line on an auto shop invoice is parts, so good, we have that. An alphabet trio. Uh, with a T in the middle? That's sort of weird. Adjusts one's sight. So on the one hand, this could be like about a sight on a rifle. It could be re-aims. But I don't think anyone ever says that. Um, 
What, uh, squint? You could squint would work, but it's too short. You need squints. It's the wrong tense, right? And if you fix the tense, it's too long. Stairs, but that's not adjusting your site. Oops. A coin collector's interest. Rarity. I don't know. Jeez, these these theme clues look rough. But the good news is, if I if I get enough crosses into them, it'll all hopefully start making sense, and I'll get a bunch of letters at once. Shade of blue. I don't know. We'll try azure. A lot of Z's that I'm penciling in. A cry of awe. Zow. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, GOP group. Well, they are a group. The RNC? I guess. Martin Luther King Jr. had one. A dream. He had a dream. Phil for a schooner. So a schooner is a kind of like boat. I think small enough that you actually are supposed to call it a boat, not a ship. Um, what would you fill it with? Or like, I mean, goods perhaps, but that's pretty vague. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Actor who was People Magazine's 1992 Sexiest Man Alive. Don't know. Cabinet department. Oh, and what's this? Ford commentary. C c uh, contemporary. Um, hmm. An olds, as in an oldsmobile. Um, cabinet department, state. Uh, the department of state is a cabinet position. Or cabinet, I don't know exactly. Ann Arbor is a place. Pastime for Napoleon and Benjamin Franklin. I don't know. It might not be RNC, of course, but I don't know what they had in common anyway. Tor starts with S. Garner. I would have thought it would be gain or earn or something. But the E is obviously correct. And the state looks pretty great too. I'm not sure. Cry of awe. Oh yeah, we don't have that yet. It could be wow, of course. Disposed of in a way, you ate it. That was how you disposed of dinner leftovers. You ate them. Tor. Uh, it's not slew. I mean killed, which is not tor. Uh, well, what's with this M-E? Something rimmed? Rimmed is too short. Chromed would like fit, but I don't know if it's a word or something you would describe glasses as. But it's probably something D, right? S blank E D. Seed. There's no way seed could mean tor, as far as I'm aware. Shed? Shed? As in like shedding skin or fur? I, I don't think that would be called tor. Sled? No. Sped! Yes, if you sped down the highway, you tore down the highway. To move very quickly. Garner uh, reap, perhaps? Is 
So what is this? With this, a 20th century giant in something -ler. Cellular phones? I don't know. Soft component of fleece. There's a soft C in the word fleece. One spared by God in a Bible story with Isaac, I guess. Who wrote in a classic children's book, it is hard to be brave when you're only a very small animal. It must have been Milne who wrote uh, Winnie the Pooh, and that was probably uh, Piglet saying that. Something that might be stolen while a crowd watches. Well, the stage, the show, stealing the show, right? But that's obviously wrong here. Oh my god, it is re-aims. Nice. Um, the scene, steal the scene. That's the word I was thinking of, or the saying, but I couldn't think of what word it was. And this ale, I assume, makes sense. Fill for a schooner. Fill a schooner with ale? Maybe I don't know what a schooner is. What's a schooner? Yeah, it's a boat. Okay, it's not as small as I thought, though. I guess, like, you know, not pirates, but like old-time sailors would drink ale. Okay. Like some glasses. Huh. Blunders, I still don't really know. Don't know this. Native Arizonan. So the other thing that I thought of for this Shakespeare is like pun. Shakespeare had a lot of wordplay, but I don't think that it's like a legal way to clue that word. There was much of it in Shakespeare. I don't know, it just doesn't like there was much punning. You could you could say punning if you wanted, but I don't think pun is is legal as an answer for that. Um, well, moon or Mercury, most obviously they're planet-like things, they're celestial bodies, right? Um, but there's two problems with that. One is, like, it doesn't fit. Even if you could do something weird with this theme clue, it's wrong on both sides, so... That's kind of the two things. One, it doesn't fit. Two, maybe it does fit, but actually it doesn't, right? Those are, those are the two things I had in mind. Um, it's kind of weird that the, it doesn't say the moon, it says moon, right? So, I don't quite know what that means. Is there some other products named Moon? So the other thing is, um, you could fit Orbit, Orbital in here, and Moon and Mercury both have an orbit, but I, I don't think that's the answer. And also, I suspect we have to somehow put two letters into this square so understand uh, okay the other thing is that orbital actually puts an o here which makes me think like oils you get in, li in line for oil at the truck stop i don't think so but could be a spoof is a farce i think these are weird Secret spillers are tattles. No. Uh, they're ratters, perhaps? Oh, whoops, this should be a T, obviously. Stop. 
stunned in a way. No, is tased. Conscious. Ah, okay. So this is going to have to be like KE or something. Or RE. Because we already have awake in here. So if you're, cause if you're conscious of something, you're aware of it. So I think this has to be... Oops. I think it has to be like that. Um, with, with like the R on one side of the slash and the E on the other. Tie dip. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Oh, actually, that's a good point. How can this be a farce? if it doesn't have a slash through it, right? So maybe I don't like farce that much. Duncan, I don't know. Some clouds. Huh. Nimbuses? Cumulo... Cumuluses? Old film dog. Ah, this can be tattlers, right. Um, I just have to do this. So each of these squares is being used, is uh, it has both parts used by the down in a single thing, uh, right, aware, tattlers. Um, and I suspect can be read either, like the clue itself, 22 across the answer rather, you can read it two different ways, either all the tops or all the bottoms. So this is something that either ends with TR blank or ends with LE blank. Um, but I don't know what this, like seven letters ends with TR blank is not enough for me to come up with a a 20th century giant in something without even knowing what the something is. Western city known as Family City USA. Starts with an O? Well, it might not actually. This should be penciled. I still don't know, like, even if I could erase the O, I wouldn't know the answer. Bone cavities. Well, probably ends with S. Well, maybe not. It could end with I, right? Um, doctors like Greek and Latin. Even A, like if, if, you know, the plural of some Greek words was like, ends with A. Casey of American Top 40, no idea. Bit of bucolic verse. <sighs> An epic, maybe? Country house. Don't know. Small songbird, still don't know. 
Where to find an American in Moscow? I mean, Snowden went to Moscow, right? I think so. Where did he go? Maybe it wasn't Russia. I'm not sure, but I thought it was. Huh. Still don't know this TV character. Iwo Jima. At least here's something I can fill in for sure. First automaker to offer seatbelts as an option. Still don't know. Coin collector's interest. Don't know. Beans and rice. They are staple foods. Wait. Is there some way... These could be something rimmed, like using this letter doubled. There's no slash here, so I don't think so. Bipolar basic. Popular. Popular something? I mean, a top has to be right. This T has to be part of the alphabet trio, but I just don't get it. Supply for General Mills. Um, they use like grains and stuff. Uh, wheat, corn. But I want it to start with O for this popular, ideally, right? Oats. This has got to be popular something. But I don't understand how they can be a giant in... Oh, popular music? Right, because one of the other... Um, one of the other... Uh, here, this one. Um, it was a hit for them. Oh, interesting that there's like, does this mean there were two popular bands in the 60s and 70s that both released a, a song of the same name? And that's what this is? Maybe. STU, I guess. I, I don't know. The only thing that I think of as like, there are kids who think, for a while anyway, that LMNOP is a letter because in the alphabet song, to make the meter right, you have to sing them so quickly. And so I think that would be a funny, like, alphabet quintet. Um, QRS, but there's like a pause. I don't know. I've seen, I've seen STU as, clued as alphabet stuff before, um, but I feel like it deserves a little bit more clear of a hint. Uh, I can't see the clue. There's a notification over it. Uh, all right. Cry of awe. I mean, it still could be wow, but... Oh, royal blue. Actor who was... Actor. I can't think of any actors with a name shaped like that. Pastime. Oh, these guys must have been into chess. Um, Royal and Chess make me a lot happier about RNC, but I don't get the N yet. It's still a little bit spooky. Hmm. Cut by a lapidary.
What can you even cut that's three letters long? Or cut the water. Ants cut leaves, you know, leaf cutter ants anyway. Line up at a truck stop. I just, I know it's wrong, but like you gotta line up to piss, right? <laughs> um, they, they could never print that in the New York Times because it's supposed to be friendly to be doing, like to do with family over breakfast. Um, there's much of it in Shakespeare. I still like a do, to be honest. Oh, you know what? I bet one of these is beetles. Because it can end with L-E-S, right? B-E-A-T-L-E-S. But... I don't understand how there can be another word before that then. And what's like a popular Beatles song that's five letters long, a middle letter W? I don't know. Well, so this could be uck, it could be ugh. But I have no idea who this, this person is. I, we have this O now for relative of a raccoon, which should help, but leaves me just thinking there's no No um, animals like that. Horse, right? You don't think, yeah, they're related. They're mammals. Um, but, like, uh, <laughs> it's clearly incorrect. I'm going to pencil in beetles here. And we'll, we'll rebus it out once uh, I know the first half. Spoof. That's six letters long. A satire is a kind of spoof. Doesn't fit with my E idea. Because that E is the second to last letter. So it, it's like four letters followed by E, E. Which doesn't really ring a bell for me. Sat, well, probably something sauce, right? In which case it would look like this, and this S would have, it would be like Sato sauce, Sati sauce. I somehow have this, like, it, it, the word satya has entered my head somehow. I don't know if it, if it, if it's even a real word or what it means if it does. Might satya sauce be a thing and I could be wrong about the Beatles? Um, I just don't know. I'm not willing to trust random words that appear in my head that I don't understand where they came from. Duncan, I don't know. I mean, 
You can fit nimbuses in here if you pencil the N and the I both into the same square. Old film dog it would be blank TT blank Otto. I don't know. I guess I'll I'll pencil that in. O T R. Secret knowledge. Or, no, it's Arcana, right? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll put that one in an in ink. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, whoops, leave, it in, leave this in pencil though. A country house is a chateau. Turns off, yeah, you shut something off. Bag. I don't know. Bone cavities. Okay, it, it looks like something that ends with I or A, right? Entra, entra. Casey, I don't know. I don't get this bag in commercial ease. What is commercial ease? I feel like it should be like a language that they use in airing commercials, like advertisements, right? But who needs to abbreviate bag or say it in a more appealing way? You would just say bag, it's very short and commercials care a lot about their runtime. Am I, I'm not spelling Iwo Jima wrong, am I? Is it E-W-O? I don't think it is. Bucolic. I don't really know what that word means. I think it might mean something like wordy. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. It might be bucolic. Oh, also it can't be, so oh, it could be Satya if we threw away the beetles. All right. Looking at this uh, Thai Satya sauce again. William and Mary, I mean, they could be names. Could still be names. It's pretty tough with the crosses though. Flag. Coin collector's interest. There's not like some star in coins, right? You don't need a lot of gear for it. I can't even think of an automaker that's four letters ends with G. So it obviously might not be a G, but even like what's a four letter automaker from the 40s? It can't be Ford because that's elsewhere in a clue, that's in a clue somewhere else in the puzzle. I've lost track of where, uh, here it is, Olds.
I mean, William and Mary are also both biblical names. Fine. Well, let's pencil like an A here, I guess. Maybe it makes this a little bit simpler to understand. Flag. Coffers. Oh, well, they're chests. All right. Maybe, maybe that one I did get by cheating, by looking up the word coffer. Uh, I didn't think I was going to find the literal definition. <laughs> um, or that the, the literal definition was going to be the answer. Um, small songbird. Let's, uh, let's actually ink this in. This is clearly right. V. All right. Um, that was my mom getting back to me about whether I wanted to do crosswords tonight. And it looks like I could use some help. So I'm actually going to do the rest of this uh, with her offline. And I'll, I'll get back to you guys about how it turned out. We're kind of stuck here anyway. All right, I'm back to give you a tour of the finished puzzle. Indeed, we did successfully finish it. Um, I've even got another window open looking at like a, a freeze frame of the end of the previous recording so I can see what, what you guys were still missing. Boy, there sure was a lot, huh? Um, most notably, you'll see this cross clue thing filled out. Um, I was right. There are like two separate... Um, two separate two-word clues, which you can fill in, um, right? Like, there's both Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley fit all of the clues for, you know, both for um, 20 across, but also for 59 across and for 41 across, right? You could fill in either Frank Sinatra or Elvis Presley, so you fill in both. And then on the downs, you use both of the letters. Right, so for example, here we have blunders are gaffes using the F and the E. Um, so what, uh, let's see, we hadn't had rigs. So a lineup at a truck stop, you know, truckers have rigs, right? The big old trucks they drive, they call them rigs. Um, we had tased. This was in fact a do. Uh, this one's been in the crossword before and I can just never remember it. It's Oprah. Oprah is the head of Harpo Productions. It's nothing to do with the Marx Brothers. It's just Harpo is Oprah backwards, and that's the name of her, her production company or whatever. Um, I don't remember if I said fe. I don't think I did. Yeah, but I, I did think of this partway through while I was talking with working with my mom. We had like we had the F from Gaff, and that was it. And I was like, could be fe. Uh, but later we got the H from Mojave, the native of Arizonan. So I I thought Mojave was spelled with a J. And it turns out that they're both used, but in like different contexts. It's not like one spelling is correct and the other is a variant or something. Um, like the Mojave Desert is spelled with a J. Like you, if you spell with an H, you're wrong. Um, but like the Mojave people, the, the Native Americans who lived here, you spell it with an H. That's the correct way. And there are like places in Arizona that are named Mojave with an H. There are places that are named Mojave with a J. It's just a disaster. Um, Kowati, I don't think I ever would get this, but I got all the crosses. And then my mom was like, oh yeah, we saw those in South America. I was like, great. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley. We'll do the crosses first. Um, it, this was seam two and este. Um, sack. This actually was the puzzle that we were, the, the clue that kept us uh, stuck for the longest time um, because we got to this. I had A S E, right? And my mom was like, oh, Casey Kasem. I was like, how do you spell that? She said, C A S E M. Okay. Uh, what do I know, right? I've never heard of this person. I believe her. 
Um, and SAC, S-A-C, is an upscale handbag. But actually it's not, it's S-A-K. Um, and so we were looking everywhere for thing for some stuff that was like filled in that looked a little bit questionable, like Antra. Um, but I checked, that really is like a medical name for a, a cavity in an organ, usually a bone. Um, and eventually, I it was like, how do you spell casum? And she was like, actually, I'm not sure how you spell casum. I was like, I tried putting a K there. And I was like, okay, we got it right. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, the port in southern Italy is Bari. I only got this from all four uh, crosses. Um, Arcana we had figured in. Something that counted towards the totality of figured in, like figured into your calculations or, or whatever. Um, shuts. These weren't vows. They were I do's. Things exchanged between brides and grooms. So that's that's cute. Um, My Way is the popular song, hit song, released by Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley. I don't know Elvis Presley's My Way, and I don't know if I would have come up with Frank Sinatra's My Way, but if you'd asked me, like, hey, what got, what, what, what group from the 1960s or 70s released My Way, I might have been able to come up with Frank Sinatra, because, like, I've heard it before. Uh, these really were names. That's it. William and Mary, those are names. You got me. Um, this one took a while. Uh, lose steam, right? If you are flagging, you're tiring, you're losing steam. Uh, coffers are just chests. I, like, looked up what a coffer means. Wait a minute. Didn't I fill that in before? Oh, yeah, I'm not looking at the exact end. Okay. Okay. And now I'm looking at the end of the, of the video, and we had chests. Okay. Um, it's not Juno's gaze, but Juno's hate. Yep, she was just kind of not very nice all around. I was sort of right when I was thinking of scan, like ways to adjust the picture for these old TVs. There were horizontal and vertical buttons to, like, stretch out the screen or something like that. Or move it, I'm not sure. I think stretch out. Um, the top was right. Re-aims. Popular music, royal, dream, ale. Oh, I learned that ale uh, is not because, like, sailors like to drink ale. Um, but there's a, a, a kind of drinking glass in some other English-speaking countries called that, that, that's called schooner. Schooner. It's... Uh, I don't know. I'm just pronouncing it the way it was written on Wikipedia, which was like S H dash G O O N E R, right? Schooner, but spelled like this, um, which is like uh, a half a pint. You would put like uh, there's a particular kind of ale that is traditionally served in, in a schooner in Australia. So there you go. Uh, this was Nolte, Nick Nolte, sexiest man alive. Um, I eventually got that from the down when I realized that this 30, 36 thing is Gomer Pyle. And then I had the L, and I was like, oh, Nolte, okay. Uh, and then we had all the other uh, crosses. Um, downs? Right, this was gaffs. I hadn't yet figured out, well, no, I had figured out that this was a six-letter word, but I just didn't, I didn't know many letters of it. And I, I wasn't sure if ew was wrong or whatever, which is what I had here. Um, this is the most puzzling one in the whole crossword. Ederla. Ederl. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, I'm trying to remember what she did. My dad looked it up after we were finished. But apparently she was famous for something. Native or zone and right Mojave. We talked about that. I, see, I told you there was something wrong with moon here. Not the moon, but moon. These people are rock stars. Freddie Mercury and Freddie Mercury and somebody moon. I don't remember. Frank moon? Uh, to understand is to grasp something. Uh, a spoof is a satire. 
tattlers aware. I was really close when I said satya sauce. It's satay sauce. Satay. I don't know how to pronounce any of this stuff. Um, Eek der Heinz. Yeah, I this was a, this is a kind of this one has almost a funny story behind figuring it out because uh, we I looked at this and I was like you know I don't remember what letters we had but we have the H and the S and that was kind of it and my mom was like Heinz I was like who that what Heinz she was like the ketchup guys I was like what that's not how you spell Heinz at all Heinz is H E I N Z. And she's like, oh, yeah, you're right. But Duncan Hines seems right. And so uh, I, we looked that up as well. He's a food critic, apparently. But not related to ketchup thing. Um, some clouds are nimbuses. Yeah, I had that filled in already. Asta, a very long ago famous film dog that I don't know. Uh, Orem is a city in Utah, apparently. We figured this out once we had O blank E M, I think. Uh, Antra, yeah, we talked about that. Kasem, idyll. So this is like something that's idyllic, is bucolic. bucolic. Um, so an idol, I don't know exactly. It's like a very positive poem. I don't really understand it. Chateau, yeah. So this bird is a finch. Once we got rid of vows, it was a lot easier. Idaho. So I think there's a city... Actually, let's check that real quick. Um, Moscow, Idaho. Yes, Moscow is a city in Idaho. So that's the joke. To find an American in Moscow, you should look in the Moscow that's in America, not the one in Russia. Gomer Pyle says, surprise, surprise, surprise. Iwo Jima, we knew. Nash apparently used to be an automotive maker. They don't exist anymore, but when they did, they were the first ones to offer seatbelts. Coin collectors care about the year that the coins were uh, minted. Staples. Stemmed. I knew something was wrong with the Z in gaze here, but I didn't know what else to put here. And my mom was like, well, what about stemmed? I was like, of course, some glasses have stems, like wine glasses. I was thinking about drinking, or about... Uh, Corrective lenses, but no, wine glasses and other kinds of glasses can have stems. STU, yeah, we pretty much had all the rest, right? I guess not um, Not these two with Nick Nolte. Gomer Pyle and ooh is to cry of, uh, cry of awe is ooh. So I think we actually would have gotten that if I hadn't been interrupted, right? We already had O blank H. Maybe from there I could have worked my way over to Nolte and up to Gomer Pyle. Yeah, the Pyle might have been enough to make me realize I was wrong about vows and get in Gomer. I don't know. Anyway, the puzzle took forever. You know, we don't solve super fast when we're like hanging out and chatting. But uh, anyway, I got the, so we, we got the Thursday done. That's the important thing. I'm gonna try to do the Friday. It's a pretty busy day for me tomorrow, but I should have the evening free still. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Those of you who enjoy the crosswords, you know, I know a lot of people on the channel don't, but, you know, tough luck. I just upload what I do and that I'm having fun with. And right now, that's kind of the crossword. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.